What do you need, my Thane? Honored to see you again, my Thane. We have a cozy little prophet. Here, this is your share, love. Goodbye, my love. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they paid the price. The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Izran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard, real serious vampire hunters. Ha! Izran's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material.
Oh, hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard, too? Truth is, I... I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Nisron I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. That must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Bigger than I expected. Is everybody? This place looks almost deserted. Isran's in the fort. He'll get you sorted out. Never seen a crossbow before, eh? Not surprised. Kind of a Don Guard specialty. Nothing better for putting down vampires. Here, take this one and give it a try. You'll want to get to know how to use it if you really plan to join the Don Guard. Fight well. I guess this is it. Wish me luck. New recruits. Hmm. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilants are under attack everywhere. The Vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Cossette telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the Vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isram, Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well, I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? Got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the Order. I need someone out in the field taking a fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Told him. Tell her about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at dim hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained I for... I know what you think of us. 
You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar grant that you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier, and you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here. Take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. A uh, crossbow? I've yes, never... Yes, a crossbow. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. You need to concentrate more. Isran found something for you to do, eh? I thought he'd like you. Good luck.
never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well, though. Jedon and Bressoth were no match for him. Ha! Those two deserved what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. All oh, this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would hurry it up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. I have half a mind to tell Loki of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. Now shut up and keep on watch.
I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. Are you sure that was wise, Lokio? He still might have told us something. We haven't gotten anywhere ourselves with nothing. He served his purpose by the of this place. Now it is up to us to bring Harkon the prize. And we will not return without it. Vingalmo and Orpheon will make way for me after this. Yes, of course, Lokio. Do not forget who brought you news of the I never forget who my friends are. Or my enemies. Just then, I'm still hungry. But all I can think about these days has killed so good. Just the right amount of struggle. Something out there. And now for the feast. sent you here. I was expecting someone like me, at least. Vampire, yes. That's 
complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Yes, it is. And it's mine. It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. My father and I don't really get along. Ugh, saying it out loud makes it sound so... common. Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? Empire? What... what empire? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. I'd... rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. I can think about these days. Last kill so much. I think I'll hang on to my things, thank you. Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. This feels like the right way. I was starting to worry. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Does the air feel... heavy down here? I'm a little woozy, but it might just be from waking up.
It's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. It's not too far now. At least, I don't think it is. I thought you knew the way. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. 
The Vigil will be watching you. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. Shoes ruined, and for what? We never even made it to the wedding. What? Your shoes? We get robbed by bandits, my clothes torn to shreds by some giant cat, a bodyguard eaten by a dragon, and you're worried about your shoes? When we get back to Cyrodiil, I swear I will hire an army of battle mages to come up here and set fire to the whole damned province. Leave me alone. I hate this place. I just want to find my way out of this I hate the trees, province. I hate the rocks, and I hate the snow.
That's it. Out there to the north. We used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. Shouldn't we keep moving? I really want to get back home. Um... Here we are. Ready to go in? This is it. Home sweet... castle. I didn't want you to think I was one of those... You know, the women who just sit in their castle all day. I don't know. Coming from a place like this, well, it's not really me. I hope you can believe that. So, before we go in there... I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. After all these years, Lady Serana's back. Now that's something. Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she has I'm the delighted scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our home? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Yes, I can smell it on you. The power of my blood will purge that filth to make you whole again. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that 
that I offer. Now, make your choice. Be still. Awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield it. My blood is potent. At first the body is overwhelmed by it. After my bite, you collapsed and fell into a slumber. Now your flesh has acclimated to the new blood that courses through your veins. I assure you, no harm was done. In truth, your strength surprises me. Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. A shrine to Molag Bal, the mighty Daedra Prince who is father to all our kind. Our power is a blessing from him. It is he who first bestowed the gift of the ancient blood upon me. In an age long forgotten to history, I ruled as a mighty king. My domain was vast, my riches endless, and my power infinite. And yet, as my mortal life neared an end, I faced a seemingly invincible enemy. My own mortality. I pledged myself to Molag Ball, and in his name I sacrificed a thousand innocents. In reward, he gave everlasting life to myself, my wife, and my daughter, and so I have defeated mortality itself. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words, and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue.
There is much to learn. But if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. There is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? As a vampire, you will gain new powers, but also a weakness to sunlight. With each passing day that you do not feed, that weakness will become more deadly, but your powers will also become stronger. Feed upon those who are sleeping, and your vulnerability to sunlight will diminish along with your powers. Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Welcome here. As long as you don't overfeed on the thralls. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now what is our Lord's wish? Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkin has never cared to use the chalice relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. She's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Bengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the bloodspring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting.
need to sleep. Hello there. Hello there. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Do you need something? I'm a loyal servant of the Lord of the Castle. Nothing more. Good to see a new face here. Especially one that isn't attached to an elf. Between you and me, there's too many of them. Can't trust a lot of them. Never could. Want my advice? Avoid getting wrapped up in Vingalmo's schemes. He's after the throne, and he'll kill anyone that gets in his way. Of course not. He's an elf, isn't he? He'll cozy up to you, use his honey's words to get you to lower your guard, then use you and throw you away when he's done with you. You'll watch yourself around him. All Do right, you need then. something? I have I leave politics to others. I serve the Lord of the Castle. Well, well met, sister. Life here has many advantages. Don't you agree? You'd be surprised what people leave behind when you burn their village to the ground. Until next time. You're welcome here, as long as you don't overfeed on the thralls. You're new here, so I'll explain this once. You feed from the thralls as much as you like. You kill them, and I'll split you in half. All over Skyrim, it's my job to collect them. I try and keep something for everyone. For every taste, I mean. Sometimes you get one who comes willingly. But most have to be convinced to join us here. I... I try and meet the needs of everyone here. No reason for any of us to go hungry. Way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't it? New blood, eh? Let's get something very clear. I don't care about politics. You want to fight over the throne with the rest of them, go right ahead. I feed when I'm hungry, I sleep when I'm tired, and I kill whenever I'm in the mood. Those are the things that are important to me. Simple. He says kill. I kill. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't even have to say it. Feed well. Can you feel it? You're now so much more than you were before. Time was I could barely hold my own in the companions. Now I could slaughter them all without a second thought. 
and I'm not half the vampire Lord Karkarn is. Truth is, I'm better with a forge than I am with claws or fangs. I, I was. Didn't progress very far. Never did care for their attitude, acting like they're better than everyone else. But none of that matters now. I keep the forge running day and night, in case Lord Harkon needs anything. Until next time. Here for the skooma? Head around inside. There's a trap door that'll lead you in. Hey there, friend. If you're looking for a fix, you're at the right place. Just head on down the trap door. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? I believe we've seen you here before, have we? You can buy from me, then join any booth you'd like. You seem tense. Join a booth and relax a bit. Or did you need another fix? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? This is the Redwater Den, purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmora. Since it's your first time, sure. Find a booth and enjoy. The secret is our mystic Redwater Spring. 
The magic in the waters opens the mind to experience skooma in a way like never before. How about you pay for your habit like everybody else? We're not running a charity here. Don't worry. You'd have better dreams here. Yes.
after all.
don't you just drink the blood from the spree? I mean, that seems easier than running a schooner did.
so soon after joining the family. We're just lucky I was here to return the chalice to Bengalmo so he could make sure Harkon gets it back. Wait, what? That's not what we agreed. We take it back together. Idiot. You didn't really think I'd let you walk out of here either, did you? Bengalmo wants you both dead. Well, that's just fine. Ortyom told me to finish off anyone who got in the way. Well, well. setting the place on fire, okay? I cannot...
Need something? I'm a loyal servant of the Lord of the Castle, and nothing more. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. I see you have returned. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprive them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. The feast never ends here, Castle Volkahar. I wish Orthiolf and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. I'm a loyal servant of the Lord of the Castle, and nothing more. There's plenty for all. You are here. Good. You have earned my trust, so I will share what I can. Sarana and her mother disappeared long ago. I commanded every vampire in the court to look for them, but after centuries of searching without success, I lost hope. In my heart, I know that it was my wife, Valerica, who took my beloved daughter away from me. If I ever see her again, she will pay most dearly for that betrayal. What else do you want to know?
Her name was Valerica. She has been gone for so long now, I can only assume she has left this world one way or another. I will say only that we did not part on good terms. What else do you want to know? Very well. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Scions of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a Moth Priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a Moth Priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. It will be done, Cyborg. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Not at this rate, no. That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord.
Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just give me a little time. Way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't it? I wish Orpheus and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. I have everything I need right here. What are you waiting for? Get out there and find a moth priest. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Ancestors guide you. If you need anything, say the word. I can still forge a decent blade. Never made it far in the Companions. I keep the forge running day and night. If there is one thing I know, it's wet. A little extra protection never hurts. A little extra protection never hurts. Life here has many advantages, don't you agree? Speak with Garen Marethi. He has something for you. Mm-hmm. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then, and I'm tired of it now. One of the feral brood has joined a group of bandits. Presumably with aims to grant the gift to the entire lot of them. Needless to say, we can't abide that, as it would raise general alarm amongst the herd, to say nothing of the increased feeding competition. You are to destroy the... feral creature before this small problem becomes a larger one. Ancestors guide you.
you come. Uh. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. Don't get in my way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't it? I am above the petty good. I prefer to nip budding problems before they reach full bloom. I trust it wasn't too much of an effort on your part. Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. Ancestors guide you. Can I assist you? No, I wouldn't, sir. No, I don't need anything right now. Please, stop asking. Yes, of course. Uh, that spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Whatever is required. I'm happy to do whatever is asked of me. I only wish to be useful. Often I take on tasks that Garen or Ferran find distasteful, or beneath them. If I can remain useful, those above me will see fit to keep me here. Of course! It is my duty to serve, and I am happy to do it. I scrounged up a few things. Here, please, take a look. I look forward to our next meeting. You'll be a welcome addition to the court, I'm sure. If I may, 
Let me offer you a piece of advice. Be careful who you trust. Not all of us have the court's best interests at heart. Ortheof, for example. He'll tell you he means well, but believe me, he can't be trusted at all. Keep that in mind, will you? He claims to serve loyally, but he really covets the throne. He sees himself in charge someday. His ambition will justify any actions. Put your faith in him, and you will regret it, I promise you. It's come to my inescapable attention that you, my dear friend, are married. Marriage is a fine institution, however one that does present certain difficulties for such as like ourselves. An unattended attachment such as found in your beloved wife creates an opportunity for unnecessary agitation. Should your blushing bride go missing, perhaps unable to bear the thought of living with a... a monster? Why, you would be distraught with emotion, perhaps even to the point of questioning your loyalty to this court, and we ours to you. My sincerest pardons, I but look after your own peace of mind. May I strongly suggest that you make a visit to this spouse of yours, and invite her to the family by offering her Harkon's gift. It is the greatest token we can bestow upon those we love and wish to see protected. Put her mind at rest, allay her fear through vampiric seduction, and when she is in a pliant condition, embrace her and bite her on the neck. Nature will take care of the rest. Our blood grants us power to calm and relax. If you currently lack the gift, forgo feeding for a day and that power will come naturally. Once your thrall is suitably sedated, you will be able to impart the gift without resistance. While the blessed state of undeath can be accidentally conferred, Consider the brutish creatures you find wailing in dank hovels in the wild. Only those who can trace their ancestry through Harkon's mortal bloodline can faithfully accept the power conferred by his vampiric blood. And among those, it seems, only when the heavens show the correct aspects. Your wife is such a soul, and the stars appear cooperative. Now is your chance. Because he himself bestowed upon you a portion of his vitality when he infused you with his own blood the night you returned with Serana. A small measure of his blood now and forever flows through your veins. Return to me when your part is done, and may you enjoy your second nuptials. No, I don't need anything right now. Please, stop asking. Yes, of course. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. What a curious city. It's so... open. It's a wonderful house, my love. If you don't mind, I'm going to start a small store. Something to do whenever you're on the road. We have a cozy little profit. Here. This is your share, love. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Goodbye, my love. Good... Bye, my love. Ah! Don't do that!
Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned prop. All right, let's see what you have. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. Shame on you. Speak with Ferran Sadri. He has something for you. All right, then. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. Shame on you. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. Shame on you. I've discovered the whereabouts of a set of ancient rings of blood magic. They belong among our kind, not gathering mold in some vagabond's treasure pile. Depends on who you ask. Some say Molag Ball himself gave these rings to ancient powerful vampire lords. Some say that is just a myth. Harkon himself disbelieved in their existence, though perhaps he felt slighted they were not already in his possession, and only Fane's indifference. Of course, I wouldn't be telling you where to find them if I desired them for myself. They increase the abilities of your vampiric powers. Best of luck to you. Until next time.
I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Do you need something?
order shall rise. Grant us this power, so that in your name we may vanquish our enemies.
Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble.
Did you hear something?
this must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Life here has many advantages, don't you agree? Well done. I trust you'll put those to good use then. Speak with Garen Marethi. He has something for you. All right then. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. A cadre of lesser beasts has become a nuisance, taking too bold an approach to their feeding. The herd is becoming distressed, which makes it more difficult for us to slip in and out undetected. It is time to cull the weak. Enjoy yourself. I want what I asked for. Yes, Farron, of course. I'll see to it. If you need anything, say the word. I can still forge at these. Blade?
anything like this back on the island. Fan of the sun. Who's there? I knew I heard something. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. You have done well. It may seem cruel that we hold our thin-blooded kin in low esteem, but our needs must come before theirs. Speak with Ferren Sadri. He has something for you. Until next time. Life here has many advantages. The Dawn Guard have increased their operations and have been aggressively recruiting. We need to put a damper on their efforts and give those troublemakers something to worry about other than harassing our interests. You are to make a public show of murdering someone. Do it in the streets for all to see. The higher the profile, the better. Make it seem you are a member of the Dawn Guard thus sowing confusion among the herd. Wear this armor and plant this note on the victim. You know, an important member of society. Someone attached to the Jarl's court. A merchant, a bard, a priest. Someone with stature. That will make them all the more upset to have one of their citizens slain, and under such flimsy pretense. Precisely. The people will put pressure on the Dawn Guard, who are apparently murdering their fellows without provocation. Their focus will be shifted from us, giving us one less nuisance to deal with. Good. I knew I was sending the right woman for the job. Oh, what is it? something? Anything good?
no more. You say so. something let's go <sighs> life here has many advantages very good that should for a time direct the people's anger towards the dawn guard and away from us I see you chose a suitably high-profile target. Well done. And you carried out my instructions to kill the victim in view of others. And while wearing the Dawn Guard uniform. Very good. Politics bo- Speak with Garen Marethi. He has something for you. Mm-hmm. Remember your place, and you'll be taken care of. I am above the petty squabbles here. I've learned the whereabouts of a troublesome Dawn Guard member. You will track him down and dispose of him. But please, do be discreet. Our aim isn't to stir the nest, just to skin a rat, reminding them that they are the prey. I hope you comprehend killing better than you comprehend speech. Don't. Get. Caught. Good. What is it? I'll be here.
Need something? Why? What do you want? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about any monsters. Why? What do you want? I'm not so easily coerced. I've got my eye on you. Try anything and you'll be the one who regrets it. A song? Uh, I seem to have misplaced my loot. Another time, perhaps. I beg your pardon, ma'am. I don't know what you're getting at, but whatever it is, it's not appreciated. All right, then. like meat so much? Why not go live in Riften? Oh, I wouldn't be able to help them. They're skilled. Given by the divine. Don't like those eyes you got. Be a taster got. or something. There's a bad hunger uh -huh, for but that. I could do that right here. Right now. You'd miss me. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. I am above the petty Excellent. I knew I could count on you. That's one less troublemaker to keep an eye on. Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. Enjoy yourself. Remember, I hope you find Lord Harkon's court to your liking. I found a new candidate. Ripe for Harkon's gift. I'm sending you to welcome this soul into our family. A pathetic creature in her present condition. But the gift will embolden her, and her lowly state suits her to being our eyes and ears in Markarth. Put her mind to rest, allay her fear through vampiric seduction, and when she is in a pliant condition, embrace her and bite her on the neck. When you offer the embrace, do so away from prying eyes. Our new sibling will then likely require rest while her blood undergoes the change. Return to me when your part is done. 
May mortals quake at your approach. What are you doing that for? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart woman. What is it? I'll be here. Can I help you? You don't want to be here. No one wants to. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. something hmm? you're not planning on burning anything with that are you Same for you. Trust me. What now? Thought you never ask. Do you need something? I hope you find life in the castle to... Speak with Farron Sadri. He has something for you. Life here. I've been performing a little research on the Blood Chalice. I believe we can prolong its salutary effects if we infuse it with potent vampiric blood. I've located the petrified remains of an elder vampire. Bring them to me, 
and I should be able to extend the effects granted by the Blood Chalice. Follow your instinct. Get indoors, or in a cave, anywhere, just come kind of close. Life here has... Wonderful. I'll make the necessary preparations for infusion into the chalice presently. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. She has something for you. Until next time. I leave politics to others. I serve the lord of the castle. I wish Orthiolf and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. A bunch of feral vampires are running wild, upsetting the mortals. When the prey is riled, it makes things difficult for us. Go cull the brutish beasts before the problem gets out of hand. Enjoy your hunt.
always taught to avoid these types of things. Why worry about who has the good job? At first, you may pity the thin bloods, but after disposing of a few, you realize they aren't worth the worry. Bleed Skyrim dry. Let someone else speak with Feren Sadri. He has something for you. Bleed Skyrim dry. If you need anything, say the word. I can still forge a decent blade. Life here has many advantages. The Dawn Guard have increased their operations and have been aggressively recruiting. We need to put a damper on their efforts and give those troublemakers something to worry about other than harassing our interests. You are to make a public show of murdering someone. Do it in the streets for all to see. The higher the profile, the better. Make it seem you are a member of the Dawn Guard, thus sowing confusion among the herd. Wear this armor. Good. I knew I was sending the right woman for the job. Take care with those flames. Good to have you. You 
have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say? Smart woman. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Life here. Very good. That should, for a time, direct the people's anger towards the Dawn Guard and away from us. I see you chose a suitably high profile target. Well done. And you carried out my instructions to kill the victim in view of others, and while wearing the Dawn Guard uniform. Very good. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Fida's teaching me the Endkeeper's trade. She runs the Four Shields. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. See ya. Mind you don't cross Tassius. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. 
A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Who's there? Mm -hmm. Are you a soldier? I don't know what a moth priest is, but I did see an old man in a robe not long ago. He's riding in a wagon with some imperial guards. They didn't stop to visit, though. They rode through town, heading south, and went across the big bridge. It was only just a little bit ago. I bet you can catch them if you hurry up. Until next time. Vampires put up a hell of a fight. Over here. Where'd you
Kind or a blight upon Tamriel, monster. By the divines, it's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I... I must obey you. What would you have of me, master? Certainly. Where can I find this castle? I will set out at once then. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Well done. Well, well, Somehow I well, knew it would be you and Serana who found our moth priest. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult to task. You do well to watch that tongue, elf. And you do well to be more careful of whom you engage in witty banter. I wish I could have been there to hear the sounds of their screams. Well, your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. Master, I have done as you asked and traveled here. Of course. What is it that you need me to do? Ah, yes, the Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the Knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Oh, what is it? Greetings, Master. 
What do you need? That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwema ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. If you need anything, say the word. I can still forge a decent blade. Do you have a moment to talk? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he might feel something again. But I guess I don't really factor in at this point. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Wait, that almost makes sense. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. Trust me, I lived here a very long time and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Come on, it's just around the side. I leave politics to others. I serve the lord of the castle. What did you need? Before my father became obsessed with a prophecy, my mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends, I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next... I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough.
My father... No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like? I know how that feels. I mean, I know it isn't the same thing, but I was a pretty lonely child myself. Not as much. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Castle looks so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Yes? What did you need? I like to explore. My parents almost never let me off the island, so yeah, I poked around down here a lot. It was a little... Yeah. Yeah. This little vampire girl was enough to scare off the rest. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Yes? I like to explore. My parents almost never let me off the island, so yeah, I poked around down here a lot. It was a little... quieter back then. Guess a little vampire girl was enough to scare off the rats. I was. But I think I turned out okay. Well, growing up the way I did, you get used to it. No, they didn't. That's why I like being out here with you. But what about you? Do you get lonely? Are there people in your life? Does it bother you that I'm here? Me too. Anyway, this is all very touching, but don't we have some more important things to worry about right now? security measures that my father put in when he got more money. Thank you. 
leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. If I had to guess, I'd say the moment mother fled the castle, father went on a rampage. Knowing him, anything at all that reminded him of her was just destroyed. It appears that way. I suppose he wanted to put the past behind him. Perhaps if he had spent more time with us, he would have recognized the beauty for himself. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masa and Secunda. That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. <sighs> I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. Look around for the missing crests. Even in this mess, they should stick out. If we had the crests, we wouldn't have to keep hanging around this lovely place. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Do you need something? Turns out my mother was sneakier than I thought. I wonder what she's hiding. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around.
Who's there? We're getting close. I'm sure of it. We're getting close. I'm sure.
I heard something. the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. We're getting close, I'm sure of it. I had always just assumed that the other tower was completely destroyed inside. My mother kept this a secret, even from me. She must have been up to something she thought was dangerous. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Anything good? Turns out my mother was sneakier than I thought. I wonder what she's hiding. I gave it to my mother. I was smarter than I gave her credit for. has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. 
Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Keep searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem Shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified Void Salts... Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which... If we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh good. Well then, let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. 
Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? All right, here goes. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of Oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to... communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. I'm ready when you are. Mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. How could they trick me like this? I was one of Riemann's court wizards! The last time I argue with a Dramora. Just what my mother told me. I've also studied a little bit on my own, but there's not much. When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. I don't know if the soul cairn takes just any leftovers. Look at this place. Do you think anything would want to live here? The only things that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. I don't think anyone's ever met the Ideal Masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground, I, I have no idea. Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Others think they use them as payment to an even higher power. Almost like a currency. A very strange currency. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Look around you. There are some extremely powerful undead here. Even a necromancer as seasoned as my mother would be willing to spend years trying to gain access to them. Exactly. It's a lost art. Most necromancers just raise up whatever bodies are nearby. A simple trick, really. Child's play. But bringing something from the Soul Cairn gives you something much more powerful. Well, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. But to finalize the deal, you have to travel here yourself. And most of them never come back. No. But there's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. Then we find out where she hid it. 
If she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or as now. Or... You know what I mean. Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he could get his hands on her. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her. I thought death was a release, not an eternity of torment. Where'd you come from? This accursed place is nothing but a prison without walls. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Where'd you come from? Here, 
someone with flesh on their bones. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plumped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those other fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal, if you have the husks. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. I heard stories about the soul camp, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. stories about the soul camp, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined.
mother! It can't, it can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the Eye of the Dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molig Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. It's what some call the domain of Molig Ball. His place in oblivion. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana? This stranger may call herself vampire. But she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. 
And to do that, you need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. I don't know. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they craved. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which would give in. I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the Soul Cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Conduits, through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The Ideal Masters' weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here as harvested souls. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those Keeper things and get back to the prison. 
Relieved, I think. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually I started believing them. The moment we gave ourselves to Molag Ball, things got really icy between them. They were both drunk with power, and pulling in different directions. And then he found that prophecy, and... that was it. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... toxic. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. I know that in my head, but I just can't help feeling bad about the way things are. Sorry, I know you're trying to help. Thanks. Anyway, we should keep moving. The sooner we get out of this place, the better.
Let's kill those keeper things and get back. I can't believe we found them. Well, you know what I mean. still burning in the Imperial City. I knew I heard something.
saved him. His soul is free. I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Where'd you come from?
You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. The sooner we get out of this place, the better. I don't think anyone's ever met the Ideal Masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground, I, I have no idea. Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Others think they use them as payment to an even higher power. Almost like a currency. A very strange currency. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Look around you. Even a necromancer as seasoned as my... Exactly. But bringing something from the soul... Oh, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. be doing this alone. Astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that Volumes written on Dernevere allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owners It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevere's physical form while he reconstitutes himself Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on your way. He's leading us to the scroll. What did you want? Let me get the scrolls case. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your own. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs.
Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. I'm glad we found the scroll. I wish she could come with us. Come on, let's go home. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thun. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. 
I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor, and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there, through your call. In my language, the Quanaran is the Vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached my ears, Dova King. You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. I'm glad we found the scroll. I wish she could come with us. now. I figured it would be more of an issue for you. No, it's probably not. I mean, what do you think my father will do when we bring him the bow? Of course he will. But at that point, he'll have everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. You'll have shown yourself to be strong, which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. I think you know. We both know what's going to have to happen once we find the bow. Keep strong and eyes open. We're on a different path now.
This land feels... twisted. I'm surprised my father didn't want to live out here. still doing here let me guess you're here for the treasure aren't you just like all the others the name's Katria I am was an adventurer raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years I was on the trail of something big it led me here and I didn't make it long story. You ever heard of Ethereum? A rare mineral used by the dwarves. Supposedly, they had to build a special forge, the Ethereum Forge, to even work with it. The items it made were so powerful, they went to war over it, and the forge was lost. Or so the story goes. I spent my life tracking down that legend until my damn apprentice stole everything from me and published it all under his own name. And now, now I can't rest. Not until I have proof. Something to show the world what I discovered, what I did, that my life mattered. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Hmm, maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know, I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? All right, lead on then. something. It wasn't always like this. Best preserved dwarven city I'd ever laid eyes on. And then 
the earthquake hit. Now, you'd be lucky to find a single room intact. Well, there's the Falmer to start with. Deadly rapids, major earthquakes, massive chasms, unstable ground, lethal falls. And then you get to the real danger. We can discuss that when the time comes. If it comes. I... fell. When the earthquake hit, the ground just... opened up. Even so, I almost made it. Another foot or two to the side and the water would have broken my fall, but... nothing I could do.
never seen the time go. Here's where I fell. Feels like ages ago. Hey, there's my bow. There, out on the log. I wonder what happened to it. What is it? If you think it'll help.
I mentioned that there was one more danger. Here it is. You know what this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple and very, very deadly. See the resonators up there? Strike them in the right order, and the door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Yeah, I thought I was prepared for anything. How can you prepare for a damned earthquake? And that was just one trap. Look around. Who knows what else this thing is capable of? Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. piece about the same size it would it would snap right in i saw a drawing of this once this shard it's it's part of a key a key made of pure ethereum the key to the forge we have to find the other pieces of course there should be hmm, three more one for each of the four cities that worked on the forge i had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that too. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. 
I'm sure of it. For the first time in a long while, I think I... We may actually be able to do this. And... And I owe it all to you. Thank you.
beat me to it this time. Well, that's the second one. We're halfway there. I'll keep looking. See you soon.
guards over here. Well, go on. What are you waiting for? I have to say, I'm glad that's over. That's what, your third? All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there.
you are. Looks like this place has been cleaned out. At least the shard is still here. Thanks again for all your help. That's the last one, isn't it? It's... it's almost time. I'll meet you at the forge. brought the shards look at the device here the gear in the center is just about the right size try putting the shards in and we'll see what happens
We did it! We actually did it! There's only one thing left to do. We have to prove this actually works, that this is the real Ethereum Forge. By forging something, of course. Go ahead. After everything you've done, you should do the honors. There isn't any Ethereum here, is there? Damn it. Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. The shards we collected. They're pure Ethereum, remember? It's not much, but it'll do. With them and the materials in this room, we should have everything we need. I don't know. I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survived. Make it count. This may be the only chance we ever get to use the forge.
Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just not like this. Door? Yes, how may I serve you, milady? I am afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, milady. Please do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Oh, please, milady, please forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Oh, thank you, milady. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. 
From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But, in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Oh, the Moths don't literally read the scrolls. But they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the Moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the Conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. Fortune smile upon you, milady. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Yes? Yes, milady. What can I help you with? Yes? Anything good? All right, let's see what you have. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with.
I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Go fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. Be mindful that my maid Tikla has been known to pass. No fan of the sun. It would be better than this.
This must be the... Do you need something? Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to... Looks like we're on the right track. Than what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. What now?
Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. And that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Where'd you come from?
there. anyone want to set up camp here? You have nothing to fear What's that? here. I think there's some kind of power from it. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the great chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer. I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the Betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Auriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of Paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the Inner Sanctum, where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you.
This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim our as well. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Questions? I expected as much. We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground-dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin, certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. Werther and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebain, Yfrey, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. Oh yes, they were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. They're ghosts of the Snow Elf Priests that tended the Way Shrines, 
before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Auriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. May Oriel light your path. Questions? I expected as much. That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually.
whatever's on the other side of this, Palmer wanted to keep it there. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Ariel's brilliance illuminate your path. This is incredible. It's like a whole other world. Come on, the bow has to be in this valley somewhere. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Sight. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel 
and fill your vessel with his enlightenment. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it speed your journey to the inner sanctum. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. reached the Way Shrine of Learning, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Ariel bless you, child, for you are a step closer to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom. Ariel's warmth imbue your body with strength. Does this ice feel a little thin to you?
You've arrived at the Way Shrine of Resolution. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Then go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ariel strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the Inner Sanctum. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just get out of this.
the look of this. found the Way Shrine of Radiance, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment.
never seen a building like that before. It looks like some kind of temple. By the blood. What now? This is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here.
Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end! up there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, further. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl! I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me! I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost! You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Where do you come this? from?
sir, the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Sounds like... that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Sure... do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I'd guess. Let's just get this over with. Do you need something? If you think it'll help. now. It's good to speak to you again. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. While it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory, that time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. For the time being, I will remain here 
on the Overlook and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Farewell, friend. May the warmth of Oriel provide you strength. Where'd you come from? Uh. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Well, before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand.
Keep our master waiting. Take him the bow immediately. So, you've returned. Is your... pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this... pathetic half-breed vampire. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch her. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you... It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Oh, come now. Spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. The Vampire is eternal, and with immortality comes the revelation that these bonds never endure. It's fleeting, momentary at best. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. That's what I wanted to hear. My congratulations on defeating Hop. Lord Harkon defeated. I never imagined I'd see the day. My lady, you have my deepest sympathies. I am sure this was not easy for you. He was out of control, Garen. It had to be done. I'm not happy about this. He... He was still my father. But I suppose my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. Of course, my dear. All will be well now.
I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Once again, the Elder Scrolls have proven their value. I have never understood the Nord fascination with weapons. Magic is so much more versatile, don't you think? Now that the castle is yours, I was wondering. Would you be interested in having the passage to the courtyard restored? Harkon clearly never cared much for it. It would be my pleasure. Enjoy yourself. Hello there. Speak with Ferren Sadri. He has something for you. Leave me in peace. Life here has many of I've located additional petrified remains of an elder vampire. Bring them to me, and I'll extend the effects granted by the Blood Chalice. Follow your instincts.
Life here has many a... Wonderful. I'll make the necessary preparations for infusion into the chalice presently. Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. Mm -hmm. Remember your place, and you'll be taken care of. I found a new candidate, ripe for Harkon's gift. I'm sending you to welcome this soul into our family. Valendor of Riftin has his ears in places that we'd love to listen in. Joining our family should increase our possibilities in the south. Put his mind to rest, allay his fear through vampiric seduction, and when he is in a pliant condition, embrace him and bite him on the neck. When you offer the embrace, do so away from prying eyes. Our new sibling will then likely require rest. You appear to have something on your mind. What is it? As you've been traveling in the Soul Game, let's just... You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. What? Are you certain? Then I see nothing preventing my return to Tamriel. Allow me to gather some of my things, and I'll head back to Castle Volkahar. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Do you need something? I'll return to Castle Volga as soon as I'm finished gathering my things.
could have left it behind. I could have put it that way. A fall forest makes me miss my child. Playing among the towering trees in Valenwood and living with my brethren. Trust the word that comes up. Speak with Garen Moretti. He has something for you. I'll take my leave then. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. One of the feral brood has joined a group of necromancers, presumably with aims to grant the gift to the entire lot of them. Needless to say, we can't abide that, as it would raise general alarm amongst the herd, to say nothing of the increased feeding competition. You are to destroy the feral creature before this small problem becomes a larger one. Enjoy yourself. Who's there?
I leave politics to others. I serve the Lord of Castle. I am above them. Good. I prefer to nip budding problems before they reach full bloom. I trust it wasn't too much of an effort on your part. I've learned the whereabouts of a troublesome Dawnguard member. You will track him down and dispose of him. But please, do be discreet. Our aim isn't to stir the nest, just to skin a rat, reminding them that they are the prey. Enjoy yourself. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Good day. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Why? What do you want? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about any monsters. Good day. Fan of the sun. It would be better than this. I am above the petty squabbles here. While there's one less troublemaker to keep an eye on, you could have been more discreet in your approach to the problem. I had thought better of you. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. She has something for you. Enjoy yourself. None can let the Dawn Guard will want the bow, and they will fight us hard to get it. We should strike them first before they can muster a larger force. Good. 
They've holed up in an abandoned fort in the Reach. Kill their leaders. That should put a stop to a full-out war. Feed well. Right out here. I don't know how you stand it.
I wish Orthiolf and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. Good. That should slow them down. But we haven't gotten rid of them completely. A body can rattle around confused long after its head's been severed. Enjoy your hunt. Don't get in my way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't it?